Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI slash automation training, I'm going to be following up on my last video when I was talking about autonomous agents using a multi-agent framework that was introduced from Microsoft. There's basically a way where you can use several different agents to accomplish an objective or a task. So if you remember, I showed you how to set it up with OpenAI's API key. So what I didn't mention in my last video is you can actually have different ways you can set them up. So you can have a joint chat where it's more so like a democracy and you can have a hierarchy where you have one guy that's in charge and just giving out the orders. So you can set it up however you want. So I wanna show you how to set up using LM Studios offline local open source model so that way you can get access to language models without having to use api because as you can imagine using this runs up your api costs so i want to show you how to cut those costs and not have to put limits on your iterations because for each iteration it just runs up the cost so i'm trying to keep this video brief basically what you need to do is first start by downloading lm studio based off of your hardware whether it be a mac a linux or a windows and once you have that downloaded just use my last video as reference in regards to setting up autogen and once you have that first initial part of the process set up in regards to your oai config list right here we're actually going to just leave it as is and we're going to make some changes to the actual app dot pi folder so if you remember after we set this up based off of your model and you have your api key in there we're going to actually change this, make some changes right here in the app.py folder where we're going to put a, a different code. And we're going to actually use the language models that comes from Visual Studio specifically. So it looks like this once you have it downloaded. And there's also another website that I want to share with you called Hugging Face where you can come to find the best language models that are getting newly released. So once you actually sign up, create an account, it's absolutely free. And I, I got to check my email for a confirmation. But you can come here to just see what people are using. Right now, they have 424,505 open source language models in here for you to use. And I use this as reference when I'm in the LM Studio. So right now, I currently, if I were to show you the chat for the one that I have up now, this is the language model that I currently have loaded. This is called Mistral, Mistral Instruct. And I actually found that by just going to home, I type that in, or you can just pick any one of these and they actually give you information. So I have an additional video where I'll walk you through LM Studio, basically getting you familiar with the interface. So I recommend that you check that out. So you can hover over any one of these to get a little bit more information about that particular specific model. So you can scroll down here to see the community curated list of models that are worth trying out. I'm gonna go off of the example that I already have loaded up at my particular server. I'm gonna show you how to get the key from there and then plug that into our actual command prop. And I'm just gonna show you how to set that up real quick. And I'm gonna refer you to my video prior to this one where I actually show you how to set up autogen from start to finish just basically using a local usage and in that specific video i show you how to use open ai key in this video i'm just going to walk you through setting it up using this so once you actually have picked your model so for an example if you were to type in mistral and then click on enter you'll have the different models come up on the left hand side by the most popular up top and then once you actually click on it so they quantify it right here and so if you actually hover over the information icon right here, it tells you Q4 is a 4-bit medium quality loss. Q5, 5-bit, very slight loss of quality. And they say legacy quantization method. Q8 is 8-bit minimal loss of quality. So you pick whichever one you want. And once you have that, you come over here to your chat and you can actually load it up. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like if I were to eject the model. I'm going to allow that to eject. And as you can see, the RAM usage is up top and you got the CPU. So once you actually select it to download it, you will see it at the bottom download. And once it's completely finished, it should pop up in this drop down right here. And as you can see, I have mine specifically. I'm going to click on this. And this is what the actual chat looks like, the actual interface for the chat. So I'm going to let that load up. It has 4.37 gigabytes. And you can just do it just like if you're familiar with chat GPT, it works the same exact way. So show me several samurai strategies and it works just like chat gpt right now it's processing and on the right hand side you have the settings so here are some of the most famous samurai strategies number one budo this was the code of conduct for the samurai 
So it's giving me different samurai strategies. So as you can see, it works just like any other language model if you're familiar with it. So I just wanted to show you that. So now what we need to do in order to plug it into AutoGen, if you're familiar from Visual Studio, we have it right here in order to actually put it in the app.py. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to server over here on LM Studio, and it gives you information right here as far as where it's configured at. So right now I actually have mine up. So localhost one, two, three, four, forward slash version one. So we need to make sure that these are on right here, the cross origin resource sharing. By default it's off, but we just wanna make sure it's on. And then we wanna make sure the request queuing is on and everything else we can keep on as well. And then we'll click on start server. And we just wanna make sure that we have this on. So when we go back to our Visual Studio, now I actually have app.py filled out because I want to show you what this looks like. Now I commanded out the initial import. So if you remember from my last video in Autogen, I talked about how this specific folder right here, app.py, it imports information from OAI underscore config list. You'll have your API key in here. Now this is what it looks like. And you want to keep it as is. Now for this specific example, we were using GPT-4 and then you would actually have your API key in here. And if you remember from Autogen and Auto GPT videos, I'll basically walk you through how to get your API key and you plug that in in that specific folder there, OAI underscore config list. And then in app.py, after you've done that in this folder, you can actually, and I'll have this template in the description for your reference. You can just copy and paste it and then just change it and adjust it based off of your situation. But I commanded this out initially if we weren't using a language model we would have it actually coming from just that API key. So we would put it in here and it, the config list will import from Autogen and then import assistant agent and user proxy agent. So we'll be creating our agents here. So in this example, we're actually using the local host, our language model from this server here. We're actually using this. So we'll put that in there. And as you can see, if you're using an open AI client, set openai.api underscore base Python or the base URL node.js property in your client configuration to HTTP localhost. And we're basically putting that right here, localhost. So we put the whole thing where it says API underscore base and then where it says API underscore key, we'll put no so it doesn't come from open AI. Now this way you can actually increase your max consecutive auto replace to however much you want now because you're not paying. So I just want to walk you through this real quick. So after we put that in here, LLM underscore config is basically the configuration list coming from OAI underscore config list. We're creating the instances for the assistant agent right here. Assistant equal assistant agent name equal and you have the name right here and then llm underscore config equals llm underscore config they're basically extracting from here so this is the config list and then we'll create the instance for the user proxy agent user underscore proxy equals user proxy agent which represents you human underscore input underscore mode in this specific example i'm putting never in the max consecutive auto replies i put 300. to initiate the chat We'll, have, we'll put user underscore proxy, initiate underscore chat, and then the assistant. And then you have the actual message. Now in this message, I put give me several samurai strategies and an essay on how to incorporate into modern marketing techniques. And so instead of coming from open AI, API key is now coming from your language model source from LM Studio here. So you just want to make sure that you do have your server on. And another way to tell if it's on, it'll actually show up down here as well as if you go to your chat, it'll be disabled. So we're using it for the autogen. And once we actually initiate the chat, it'll go through that process from there without having to run up a cost on your open AI key. All right. So that'll be it for the video. I hope you enjoy. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check my other trainings on autonomous agent, how to set up agent DPT and deploy it. It's basically a web-based browser version, as well as how to set up and deploy auto GPT, where I show you how to do it up locally. And then in the last video that I recommend that you watch with this one is basically the initial setup where I show you how to set up this whole process in regards to installing autogen from pip install on python as well as downloading visual studio and all the necessary requirements to set this up this actually goes hand in hand with that 
And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a web UI with Autogen so that you have a more easier to read interface. You're not relying just on all this code because it can get pretty overwhelming with all the block of text, especially when those agents starts conversing back and forth with each other. It gets a lot going on. And make sure you take a look at the tools and the resources below, as well as the pinned comment by the Affiliate Marketing Samurai. I have everything that I included in this video, as well as the template for this specific folder right here app.py and again you can just adjust it based off of your circumstance and with that said i will see you in the next video see you then